deep in God There is no one like you Alpha Omega There is no one like you Come and keep in God There is no one like you Alpha Omega There is no one There is no one like you Come and keep in God Come and keep in God There is no one There is no one like you Just lift up your hands and thank you. Thank you, Lord. Be it unto me according to your words, according to your promises. I can stand, Lord. I can stand secure. Just upon my heart. Cast upon my heart the truth, Lord, the truth that sets me free. According to your words, O Lord, be it on, Lord, be it on to me, be it on to me, be it on to me. According, Lord, according to your word. According to your promise, I can stand, Lord. I can stand secure. Cast upon my heart, cast upon my heart the truth that sets me free. According to your words, oh, be it on, Lord, be it on to me. Lift up your hands. You the reason why I lift my hand. Why I lift my voice. Why I sing to you. You are the reason. You are the reason. Why I lift my Lord, I am here to say. It's all Lord. It's all because of you. Why I lift my voice? Why I lift my voice? Why I sing to you? 
Lift up your hands and thank him. Oh, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Just thank him. I just feel him here. It's so mighty. It's so mighty. It's so mighty. 
is so mighty, is so mighty. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Just lift up your hands and say, We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. Uncomparable God. Opa Wopa. Ulua Wolua. Alakba Lato Solea Yero. Olaru Yanu. Leko Shata. Babara. Iwa Koyo. Mashe Sunla. Babara. Leko Shata. O she Jesu, I want a time of you at your shabu. O she Jesu, I hope I hear Sorrow, holy I'm in sorrow. Baba sorrow, come me. Le koshata Ola ruyanu Musadi ho Ola ruyanu Mokekbe yo baba Ina mani yo kukonwa Wali pori ho komi ho Akbara Satani, Atomo Gunre Mani Kodasa. Oko Kon Layeje, Baba Tomo Le Sonomi. Oko Kon Layeje, Baba Tomo Le Sonomi. Oko Kon Layeje, Baba Tomo Le Sonomi. O kuku la ye chao Baba tomo le sonami Le kosata Li prando kata yaba li kato yalade E kosata la balada yalabade ya E la basute la la bala la basute le ya E koshalada e prana li la bala ni la bala li koto yala Zumba Leko sata wa wa ba mi she on come wa wa la come bo ma je ke shu ashe ko ti mi lo no ye bo bo he to come da ko wa Waba Mishé Kish Where are you, Baba Mishé? Hey, hey Where are you, Baba Mishé? Where are you, Baba Mishé? Hey, hey Where are you, Baba Mishé? Oh, Timolo We go shenshé Where Obatauri Tari shall 
Nima o Mima, a little more Oba. 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 Nima o Mima, a little shot fire Hebrew chapter 1 from verse 1 through 7 Hebrew 1 from verse 1 through 7 let's stand for the reading as is our custom here to do that 1 through 7 Hebrew 1 verse 1 through 7 pick your Bible stand with it let's read God who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. And in this last day spoken unto us by his son, whom he had appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. Who being the brightness of his glory and express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins sat on the right hand of his majesty on high let's read together being made so much better than the angels as he had by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. Verse 5. For unto which of the angels said he at any time. Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. Question. And again. I will be to him a father. And he shall be to me a son. Verse 6. Let's read together. And again. When he bringeth in the first begotten into all the world he said and let all the angels of God worship him let's say together and of all the angels he said who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers flames of fire sit down balandociously on your enemy's head Without apology. My assignment today and our topic is what I title to Word on Assignment. Word on Assignment. Word on Assignment. God's Word is about to go on assignment for you today. I thought you were shouting that amen well. If the amen is louder, somebody is coming out. 
maybe you can say it more better and that will help you to go forward the louder it becomes the quicker a miracle for someone Uh, the word of God is powerful according to Hebrew chapter 4 verse 12 he said for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword piercing even dividing asunder the soul and spirit and joints and marrow and is the designer of thoughts and intents of art that's the functionality of the word of God the word of God number one is powerful number two is quick that is quick number one the word of God is is quick number one the word of God is quick number two the word of God is powerful somebody say powerful I'm talking about the nature of this word number one is quick that means if you want anything to work for you quick I'm talking about the nature of the word of God and I'm describing it number one is what quick if you want anything to be quick for you when you consult the word of God things will get will work quicker for you somebody say quick number two the word of God is powerful so I don't know how you can separate power from the word because the word of God is power itself and power is the word of God when I hear some people say some ministers of God are operating power without the word I say there's no way you can operate power without the word because the word is power and power is the word so the word of God is what quick number two the word of God is what power number three the word of God is sharper someone says sharper someone says sharper today as I release the arrow of the word of God to your enemy it is a sharp is sharper than two edged sword I slayed your I slayed your head the way you are shouting that you look like a suspect I say the word of God is sharper I see their head being slayed mm. the Bible says it can divide every enemy's powers and mountains and valleys and strongholds and walls and barricades through the word of God today we divide them for you to pass through I don't like the way you are shouting that amen and again the word of God is the designer of what thoughts is the designer of thoughts follow me today I'm going to be teach preaching the word of God is the designer of thought so I've just given you the nature of the word of God I say number one the word of God is quick number two the word of God is what powerful number three the word of God is what sharper the, number three the word of God is number four the word of God is what the designer of thought and intent you don't need for you to know a genuine man of God just consult the word of God you can design thoughts and intents am I helping you I thought somebody shouting that amen well I don't know if you are ready for God today so the scripture speaking in Timothy chapter 3 verse 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 he said all scripture is given by inspiration of God and all profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction and righteousness all scripture all all scripture so what is the scripture what is the word of God for what is the word of God for all scripture can you put that scripture please Second Timothy 3 16. All scripture is given by inspiration. What is inspiration? The supernatural imposition of the Holy Ghost upon the hearts of men towards recording divine mystery without the mixture of error. Now, it is for what? Look at, look at what the word of God is made for. After the nature. Number one, profitable for doctrine. Two, for reproof. Three, for correction. Four, for instruction unto righteousness. I get irritated when a father is talking to a son and he's getting angry. It's a sheer stupidity. If you know, you know it. Don't follow a father. The word of God is for what? For reproof. To reproof. To call you to order. For rebook. When you are a perfectionist around a father, you can't last. 
Because if you're a perfectionist, you should have been a father. You don't need to follow anybody. The reason why there is a teacher, a mentor, a father is for you to receive corrections. If correction becomes an offense, you are not even a follower. There are members who just rebook one time, they get angry. There are workers who stay under a father, just one rebook, they quit job. If you know you can't serve, why are you under a father? Civil servants know what I'm saying. They issue a query for you. Tell yourself that you resign. You will suffer and your children will suffer. If you know what it means to put on 25 and 35 years for a job and then a director is rebooking you, then you get angry. I say, Dad, take your job. You know you are losing 35 years graduating. There are children who are very, very, very silly in their level of thinking. You correct them a little bit. They are, ah, I'm going. I'm going. You better go. You are going. Because when you get to a level where a father cannot reprove you, he cannot correct you, he cannot instruct you, then you are a destruction and a disaster in the making. I came to talk to you today, so follow me. When you get to a level where a father can't call you to order, you just feel you know everything. You're a member, you're a HOD department, you're a pastor under a father, and then the father tells you, this thing you are doing is wrong. You just felt you are right. How can you be right always? A level of disaster like a time bomb. All scripture. It is in this end time I see children. Young pastors with tied their napkins. Just little correction, you are angry. Who, who, went, who went and gossiped me to power? Must they gossip you? Don't your father have eye? Doesn't he have ear? Whenever a father reproves you, it's because he, died. he has come in terms with your person. There's a level a father gets to, whether gossip or no gossip. He sees you as a project in his hand that should, that should not be a disaster. You should be excited that you have somebody watching over your life. If you're always around the father and all he makes you feel is that you're okay, I'm telling you it's not a father. It's an enemy. And the Bible says the son that the father loves, he will, he will do what? He will chastise. To hate rebuke is to hate advancement in life. No, why? They are always talking about me. Are you the only person? Take rebook and don't transfer them. One of the reasons why I got to where I am today is that every constructive criticism has helped me to advance. Anytime anybody says anything about me, I sit down and ask, is he right? If he's right, I don't argue. I correct myself. When you are too much on an island, no correction will ever work. That you have got into a place by doing things anyhow doesn't make it right. So every scripture is for correction, rebook, reproof, and instruction. And what is instruction? It's like a commandment in sentence. Don't do that. Some of you daughters who are still coming here dressing like a street lady. And when they talk to you, you get angry. I don't want all this insult. You are already an insult in disaster. How do you dress anyhow? You don't cover your... You, don't cover, you wear macro skirt and come here. And ushers are telling you, please, can you just cover yourself? Can you put handkerchief on your lap? You get irritated. Please don't insult me. You are already an insult. I will not go to that church. Every time the man of God talks, he's, he's so very harsh with his word. That is what is called correction reproof. I don't know the way to hell. I must tell you truth. And if you cannot listen to the truth, because you are not part of me. If you are part of me, truth will not irritate you. Ah. Can I teach here? 
And I talk to you here. You are a leader of a church. You are still taking Gouda. You are taking alcohol. You go to sharp joint and drink. After you drink, you enter your car and pack it. You are a disaster. I tell you without apology. You are a disaster. Can I talk here? I've come today again, Abby. I've come. How can you be a leader? You are still taking alcohol. You take Gulda. You drink. You say, I'm not a pastor. My papa and I God call. We are not pastor. You see your destiny. You are drinking. Members will be passing. You will be hiding. Are you Juju Kalaba? Because you know that what you are doing is not right. God give grace to the humble and resist the problem. Every time that the rebuke of your father irritates you, you are not a son. You are not a daughter. You are not a member. You are not a leader. If rebuke irritates, if you know you don't need rebuke, go out of him. Don't stay under somebody that cannot talk to you. May I not get to a stage in my life where nobody can talk to me. It's a disaster. Where you get to a level in your life, nobody can tell you, sit down here. This thing you have done is wrong. You get angry. I see so many daughters and sons walking under a father and the father can't talk. When he talks, they are angry. It is, it is a duty of number one. A betrayal spirit. That's the first point. Once a father starts talking to you and you are irritated and it is obvious that the father can see it, you are not a follower. If you are angry, you should be angry because you are sober. Today is today. Somebody say, word on assignment. Shut fire. Have I given you what the word is made for? Are you getting blessed? Today is not fire, isn't it? Ah. Shut fire. Shut fire. Mm, someone shut fire. I prophesy to you. You are about to enter a new level. That level that you are going to see a new dimension. There are eight forms of the word of God. And I'll give them quickly before I move into my message. Number one, forms of the word of God is that the word of God is meek. The meek of the word. In 1 Corinthians 3 verse 2. They have fed you with the meek and not with meat. This level, I'm talking about forms of the word of God. And now I want to call it the meek of the word of God. And the meek of the word of God is at this level where you don't chew bone or you don't eat meat. First Corinthians 3 2, please. Can you put that? First Corinthians 3 2. He said, I have fed you with the meek and not with meat. For either to ye were not able to bear it, neither yet not are ye able. This level, there are children that no matter the level of maturity the father have, you need to still give them meek. meek, meek meek they are not growing this is a level where a father feeds you like an infant you are always crying where where and where and so they just put it in in a liquid form and breastfeed you the meek these are forms there are people that can be booked directly and there are people that i will not even i'll just look at them and smile because i know one rebook they will be like a child that will fly away if you are very disorganized, you can't stay around me. Mm. Somebody shot fire. Another form of the word of God that I've seen is called the honey of the word. Honey of the word. He said, my son, eat thou honey because it is good. And the honeycomb 
which is sweet to thy taste. Psalm 81 verse 6, 16 says, He should affect them also with the finest wheat and with honey out of the rock thou have I satisfied. This is a level where the word of God becomes sweet like honey. Can I prophesy to you? Every part of your life that is bitter, the honey of the word is about to hit it. Uh, I thought you were shouting that amen well. Number three, on forms of the word of God, is what I call water of the word. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Ephesians 5, verse 26. So this is the time where the word of God becomes like water. Like water. And you know, nobody keeps enmity with water. So when the word of God is like water in you, nobody keeps enmity with you. I prophesy. That prophesy. The water of the word is about to sanctify you. Uh, number what? Number four. On forms of the word. The word of God becomes like an hammer. Shut up. I go to Yakata. And what does this mean in Jeremiah 23, 29? He said, he said, he said, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 29, maybe you put that. The word of God is like a man. Is it not my word that is like, like a fire, said the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock into pieces? Can I prophesy? The hammer of God's word today on assignment is about to break the rocky part of your life into pieces. Uh, the way you are shouting that amen is looking for trouble. Every part of your life that look rocky, I break them. I, I break them. I break them. Number what? Number five. In the same Jeremiah 23, verse 29, it said the word of God is like fire. It's like fire. The word is as fire. I prophesy. The fire of the word is about to consume your enemies. Ah, Shaka. If that amen is louder, somebody is breaking them. The fire, someone shut fire. Shut fire. So some people might be asking you, why are we shouting fire? Whenever you are shouting fire, you are shouting the word. Whenever you are shouting power, you are shouting the word. Whenever you are shouting hammer, is a form of the word. Whenever you are shouting the water, is a form of the word. Can I prophesy? According to the Bible, the Bible says in Hebrew 12 29, that our God is a consuming fire. I prophesy the fire of the word is about, is about to hit you. Number what? Number six, I call it strong meat of the word. The word of God is strong meat. Hebrew 5.14. You can put that. The word of God is strong meat. Hebrew 5.14. The word of God is strong meat. Somebody says strong meat. He said, but strong meat belongeth to them that are full of age, even those who by reason of use of their senses exercise to design both good and evil. Can I talk a little bit? You must understand this. First point I gave you was the meat of the word. Now he said strong meat, not even soft meat. But there are meat that are very soft. He said, you know that strong meat? When you are drawing it, the thing is drawing you. Have you ever experienced that? Why are you pretending? Don't pretend. Uh -uh. You know that kind of meat? You are trying to chew it, the thing is not chewable. You pull it, the meat pull you. You have to apply your premolar and molar system very well. And do it systematically in order to have achieved the assignment. <laughs> and if you don't have a strong teeth, you can't eat that kind of thing. If your teeth are shaking, don't eat that kind of meat. Don't send it to where it belongs to. You do back to sender. But that kind of meat, where you have strong meat, strong premolar and molar, you pull it. You know what you do. You apply systematic approach without a teacher. And you descend on it. From an higher concentration to the lower concentration. And your and your whole teeth break it down and you eat and you enjoy your destiny. That is when you are matured. When you get to a level where you are matured, rebuke will not be an insult to be correction. 